good morning. Today is Monday, June 17th, and it's a very exciting morning because it is my first day of work. As some of you know, if you've been watching my videos, I have been out of work for some time, six months I think, whatever November is, so six-ish months. So on Friday, a, a week before Memorial Day weekend, they contacted me. By Tuesday, I had a phone screen with the hiring manager. On Wednesday, I came in for a team interview. And by Thursday, before Memorial Day weekend, they offered me the job. So that was very exciting to go into Memorial Day weekend and then um, my trip to South Dakota, knowing that I had a job when I came back. I am hanging out currently at Volunteer Park in Seattle because I have dropped Thomas off at school, I dropped Brian off at work, and um, that'll happen by 8 o'clock in the morning, and they didn't want me to come in until 9.15, so <laughs> I came to a beautiful park near where I work, but it is sprinkling this morning, so I am hanging out in my car and um, talking to you. I wanted to address the painstaking randomness of job hunting. I've posted a couple videos before about my job hunt process and how there were several times when I had a sure thing. All two or three of those times those positions fell through. This one moved very quickly but I really I really appreciated how the process went and they just seemed really keen on what I'm capable of and just we're like, let's do this. I'm super excited. So my first day uh, essentials, I have my coffee cup, lunch, I have a lunch bag, glasses, because I, I need reading glasses now, notebook, I always have a notebook handy at work. I have two fun fountain pens. This one has pink ink in it, and this one currently has blue ink, and when that runs out, I will fill it with turquoise. I have become quite addicted to using these. They are very fun to use. And <laughs> my lip gloss. Come on, focus. Never leave home without it. It's looking like it's almost gone. I might have to get more. So those are the essential things I have on my first day of work. So I'm very excited to be off on this new adventure and I'm very excited to have a job in the city and not to be commuting out to the suburbs like I was before. So this is all very exciting. I am off to the awkwardness of meeting new people and trying to act like a normal human being today. I did it. I survived my first day. First day statistics. Number one statistic, 5,800 steps. I thought that was pretty good for a work day, especially considering I didn't take the bus, so I wasn't like walking to and from a bus stop. Uh, statistic number two. Number of times I pooped while working, once. Thankfully I did not poop my pants but I did poop in the bathroom, which is located very centrally. So it was a stressful experience wondering if people would the of Jen coming out of the bathroom. <laughs> to avoid that in the future, I will find other bathrooms located throughout the building. I have multiple bathroom options. Statistic number three. Number of times I cracked myself up because I misunderstood what somebody said, like a gazillion. <laughs> so there was a lot of giggling today because for some reason I couldn't hear things. And at one point somebody said she went to check a proof. And I thought she said she went to check a poof. And all I could think of was the bomba poofs that keep getting advertised on the podcasts I listen to. <laughs> Here's a unique one that I didn't expect. Number of times I got pen ink all on the inside of my mouth was one. Why would that even be one? 
It should be zero, zero times. Here's what happened, I need to explain. I have a fountain pen. I am a new user of fountain pens. And at one point, I, when I set my pen down, I picked my pen up and it was dry. And so this happened several times. I did what I always do for ballpoint pens when this happens, is that I just sort of stuck it in my mouth and I just sort of like suck a little bit. And that usually on a ballpoint pen will suck the air out. But as soon as I pulled that pen out of my mouth, I tasted this like metallic taste in my mouth. And I went and I touched my tongue and I had blue ink on my finger. And at that point I realized I was sitting at my desk and likely had pen in my mouth and potentially all over my face. So I <laughs> quickly slinked off into the bathroom, looked in the mirror and I had blue ink all over my teeth. Thankfully not on my lips, but all over my teeth, mouth filled with blue ink and I could taste it and um, <laughs> I, just, I mean I started cracking up because of course that happened um, of course that happened to me so that was my super crazy antic for the day apparently not knowing how to use a pen anyway it was a fabulous day um, I am excited and overwhelmed and super looking forward to getting involved and getting down oh shoot okay I have to go now because I'm completely in the wrong lane time to go but I had a great day and I am looking forward to many more days just like it first day and I'm back in my happy place and first first order of business is to pick some raspberries so I have been quietly I've been quietly picking raspberries for the last four or five days without telling my family and we'll see if they notice. Did you hear that Sid? Very glad to be home. Today was great but I am very glad to be home. I'm going to water my garden. I'm going to pick some raspberries and I am going to put my feet up. Ciao. Have a great night.